This video will help you to produce a CNC PCB using the Rollin SRM20 milling machine. I'm going to use the QTI sensor board that we have made in class. This is the schematic diagram that we have produced. Open the board file. I have set out my tracks and and the pads. The overall board size, as you can see, from there right till the top of the cursor is about 35.46 millimeters in height and 42.87 millimeters in width. Go on to file and run the user language program. In the directories you want to look for PCB G code. It says PCB G code setup ULP. Open that file. This is the default program that we are going to use. Ensure that the bottom outlines are checked and the drill uh, generate bottom drills are checked. We do not need to mirror the board. For this specific PCB, I'm going to check on isolation. I'll, I just want a single pass. I'll leave all the settings as the default settings. Machine that I'm using, you can change the units into millimeters over here. The Z height is 5 millimeters. This is the height to which the cutting bit will rise up from the board. This is the depth of the cut, 0.2 of a mil. This is the drill depth, 0.5 of a mil. And this is how long, which is one second, the drill will be uh, stationary once a hole has been drilled. The tool change position, I've left it at 50.8 millimeters. That's the height above if I want to take the V cutter out and put a drill bit in. The G code style we will choose will be an EMC. And then we have G code options. I'll leave this as a default position. This is where all my files will be saved. I don't need a calculator and I don't need to set it to default uh, factory settings. So I'll click on accept and make my board. It says click on yes. And so this is the uh, this is this is the um, the PCB image that has been gener generated from the G code. As you can see, each of these tricks has been outlined and the pads has been outlined. The number of passes I'm using is one. This will speed up the process and only isolate each of the tricks or traces as they are called. Inspect this carefully that none of it is touching and it looks like what you will have in your board. If you're happy, then you can click on OK, close this file, and it has been saved. Open the folder where your PCB has been uh, saved. For me, it's in my documents, in the Eagle folder, my solver, QTI sensor, QTI sensor, and these are the two files that has been generated. The .etch or H file is what will cut your traces and the pads. The .drill file is what it will or what the drill holes will be. If I double click on this, you can see these are the settings that is there for the board to be made. So it tells you all the settings so z axis high 
how much it will go down in the dwell position the spindle time it will take for it to be on 3 seconds milling depth 0.254 if you have any text you can have a text depth there as well tool change position x coordinate 0 y coordinate 0 z position 50.8 the feed rate 254 uh, revolutions per, per millimeters so that's how fast it will travel in the x and y direct, direction and the feed rate in uh, the z direction these are the default settings that we have imported and these are the absolute coordinates that we're using G90 starting position of the machine starting Z position of the machine and then our milling rate starts from here this is where the tool position is uh, the spindle will move to point to the start of the board and the first line of code G01 is where the first etching will start and as you can see it continues with all the x and y codes when the next feed rate has been fed here so that's another trace and that's another trace there's another trace here In the next part of the tutorial, I will show you how to set up this, the Roland SRM20 CNC milling machine to get this board done. Thank you.